Hi, I'm Ahmad Sayar. My name is Purshid. I'm from Uncle K Live TV. Okay. It's a TV and radio. Okay. So we are here covering all the companies, countries who are exporting to Dubai. And our aim is to, you know, in, in a way thank them for bringing the things what makes Dubai such a cosmopolitan city. So we can have brands and taste and products of each and every country in the world. You understand my point? Exactly. So I'm really interested in, uh, I know Afghani products from Kruth to Abe, uh, Kabab Dashti and these type of things, I've tasted them, they are lovely. Yes, And exactly. Afghani Pulao is, of course, it's something yes. else. But uh, what I, my knowledge is limited to Afghanistan being only the dry fruit exporter. That's what I know. Could you enhance on that? What else are you exporting except dry fruit? Okay. Um, well, as you mentioned, I'm working for the one of the projects supported by the United States Agency for International Development. We want to boost the export uh, of Afghanistan and different. So, the, the, right now, as you see, this is uh, Afghanistan. We are participating in Dubai since 2010. And you know, that you are, according to your first questions, that uh, it will be... Sorry for that. So it, it will be, I mean, uh, the best way that we are easily can reach to Dubai, it's the one of the good opportunity that uh, Dubai has for internet, dif different international, I mean, suppliers, that issuing of their visa is so easy. So the traders easily can reach in here to participate in such kinds of exhibitions. So the only thing, for example, right now, from Afghanistan, any trader if want to go to the Chinese, some China to have some contract from there, it will be really difficult to reach to China. I mean, specifically by for the issuing of the visa and these things. So the Dubai is one of the business hub in the region. So what, that's why all of our tra traders are really interested in coming and find buyer in here. And you know about the Gulf food? It's really one of the world's biggest uh, food Market. exhibitions. Yeah. 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 And it's really a good opportunity. Last year we bring, uh, I mean, from three sectors that uh, we had in here represented for dry fruit, saffron, and fresh fruit. We could find uh, from this Gulf food 8 million of contract, 8 million USD contract, and more than 21 million potential deals. So, and uh, uh, regarding to your next question, that what kind of product Afghanistan have? Afghanistan has, has I mean, different products. We are dealing only with three, uh, uh, I mean, uh, three different. One is fresh fruit, sec second is dry fruit, third one is saffron. But still we have marbles. We can say we are one of the biggest uh, exporter of the marbles. Of that. Yes, okay. Good, good. Also good. carpets. Carpets is one of the, the biggest, I mean, uh, of After our Iran. export. Yeah. You are similar to Iran, your carpets, right? No, it's made by hand, it's not machinery. We no, don't even Iran, they have Yes, hand yes, exactly. Yeah. That's our it's similar, like Iran. But lots of our carpets right now, you know about Afghanistan, especially right now, this, uh, the situation is that we don't have any machinery there to process our, I mean, so when we are, our carpets are going to Pakistan and Iran after processing specifically to Pakistan, they are re-exporting. So right now in the world, we are not so, so famous that we have carpets because it's exporting oh. under other countries. I get that the is point. The, they do yeah. their own branding. And exactly. Okay. Right now, all of our marbles but are exporting. it's a very high value added thing, very high value thing. Exactly. Exactly. So it's about uh, f four years that we are participating in uh, one of the exhibitions in Germany. So Afghanistan carpets all the time, it's four years that won the awards and it's the first, all the time it got the first position. When you say carpet, that's all wool, right? Yes. And wool comes from cattle, the sheep and all. That means you are also good in leather garments and all. What about the leather uh, industry? Unfortunately, right now, we have only one or two of leather industries, so we cannot... I mean, I cannot say that we have export of those. It's only for internal use of our country that we are producing. But also about the marbles. 
our unprocessed it's marbles. It's starting now or it's uh, yes. already taken root now? It's going well. It's, it's going well. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, up to a month or two months ago, our all um, marbles, unprocessed marbles, was exported to Iran. Then it was uh, processed and after processing it, by under the name of the Iran, it was re-exported to different, like Italy, like uh, you know about uh, Turkmenistan, Ishkabat, the capital city, it will be a marble city. So right now, our government is committed, uh, I mean Afghanistan government is committed that to, no, to not let any other... Uh, not just deal with raw materials. Yeah, so with raw materials. We finish, need to finish, process it, finish yeah. Products. Finish products, then we can export. Correct, that's yeah. very good. Just one last question. I'm taking a lot of your time. You are busy. I know it's a very popular stall here. Uh, last thing, how when you said it, the facilities Dubai or the UAE government is giving are the visas, what about the, the 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 venue they give you where you can test your products, the packing? Because Dubai has products from each and every country of the So you have to succeed, compete with those. So your packing should be A class. It should be, you know, people should go for it on a shelf in a supermarket. It should sell by itself. So how have you advanced in that? Your branding, your shelf, your packing, your distribution? It's exactly, you're right. You know about Afghanistan, we have all the products that we have in here, especially right now, the dry fruit. It's organic products, all from Afghanistan. So. Right now, these are the traders that newly we are bringing them to these kinds of super, I mean, these kinds of uh, exhibition that they need to know about the rules and also the demand for the packaging. So, right now we have good export. We had in 2014 only 20, uh, sorry, 32 of our companies, Afghan companies, exported more than 17,000 metric ton of different uh, fresh and dry fruit to different international markets like New Zealand, like Canada, like Australia, UK. That means this you are talking about gift packs, packing. Also gift packs and also you are putting it in some clamshells and very good packaging right now. These are the new companies uh, that they are coming. They want to meet the, the standards, standards of the markets. Of the, yeah. Of the so after now they will buy their packaging materials from air or from other country, I mean, it, it will be according to the market demands. So then they are packing it into that kind of packaging, then they are export, they will start their exporting. For sure, it's like a bulk. Uh, I mean, right now we don't have any, these kind of, these um, of our traders doesn't have proper materials, I mean, for packaging and so, so it's it's we can say it's an unprocessed product that we are displaying in here, and any kinds of packaging that the customer want, our traders can supply them. All right, I, I get your situation now. So hopefully, hopefully, with what I'm seeing here and the way you people are presenting it here, I think maybe within this year you will succeed to that stage also, and we will exactly. see a funny so. product with gift packs. If, oh, I hope so. You know. Fruit is fruit, apple is apple, but different countries have different tastes. Exactly. So your pistachio, your... I've gone through those fruits, oh. so I know what it is. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so I hope it's all organic. All the best. Yeah, wish thank you, you so much. The best and the hard labor you put into that, because this is your livelihood. Your country can only grow with your exactly. exports. Exactly, yes. yes you are. So, Emma, thank you very much for being brave enough to come and sit. And, uh, I know many people, they shy away, they don't want to give an interview, oh. but you you were very brave. Yeah, Af you. After all, you are an Afghani, so... Yeah, <laughs> okay, thank, thank you very much.